Morning, good morning. Well, it's all day without his folding, so it's D and D on walkabout this morning. And uh, we've just got the tram to New Air Station, and we're off up to Pipe Point Valley. We're going to walk past Sandlin, and the plan is to get over the hills and back, drop back down into New Air. So there should be some interesting things on there. And uh, this morning, we've got Diane, my other half, of course. And we've got Buzz and Ian that's joined us. So, for now, we'll uh, leave you to it and uh, bring you back when we get up into the hills, I think, unless something interesting happens. Okay, so, see you shortly. Just to bring you back on these, look at these. Well, I don't know whether the bulls are out, to be honest, because we can't see, but they're peeping out of their uh, little stable there. Just nosing at what we're doing as humanoids as we're walking on. Okay. Moo! Hello there. Ah, I better get going. Okay, so we've made it to Pipe Point Valley and this is Ogden Reservoir. Just look at that. Why do we do it? Well, there's your answer. And here we have them. Still with us. Ian Buzzing and Diane, the other half. So why do you do it? There it is. And the other reason is I'm um, doing an activity every day, all the way through January, to uh, help the people like yourself. Well, unfortunately, I don't suffer too badly with uh, colitis and Crohn's, the two chronic diseases that really affect people's lives so that's why I'm trying to get out and do something every day and uh, people are donating to me so if you want to go on my Facebook page or anybody's colitis page and uh, make a don donation it will be gratefully received so let's go and bring you back in as we come further into the valley Mountain goat, known as Diane, is just going over the horizon there. So I think she's going to have to wait for us because we, uh, myself and Buzzing, <laughs> we're struggling a little bit going up these steps. But there she is. Give us a wave! Oi! Hey, there she goes. That's our leader. Well, we can't hang about, we better catch up. And now we're enjoying a quick pit stop. Cup of soup, chocolate fingers, and a uh, nice slice of brown bread. And there's Buzzing getting stuck in. Diane's a chocolate finger person. So there we go. <laughs> Got to be done. Well, we've had refreshment now. Ten minute break or so, and uh, don't know if you can read the sign there, but that's Tunzel Lane, and it's two mile now down into Milnro. Oh, well, up the hill first and then down into Milnro. The Pennine Bridle Way will take you to Ollenworth Lake that way, and that's two mile away. Today we're going to Milnro, like I said, and the Pennine Bridle Way will take you that way about one and a quarter mile up to Five Point Reservoir. So, again, look at this. Moreland. Just beautiful. Look over there. Unfortunately, we've been doing a little bit of work on the path up to Milton. And uh, it was out a wee bit muddy. But onward and upward, as they say. So let's go buzzing. Off we go. Ah, yeah, I need my eye kick sticks. Through the quagmire. And now we're on rocky ground again. And it's down in the ground. This is a view at the moment. And again, the mountain goat in pink, like it says, is leading the way, leading the base, halfway down here. Again, look at the view. Look at the hills. What a great walk. Yep. Okay. So we 
Rosie is where we're at. Okay, made it back to the tram station now to catch the uh, tram back to Oldham and uh, just a short hop home. So it's been a good walk, we've really enjoyed it and uh, hopefully all you other people that uh, are getting out and about and doing some form of activity, even though you may be suffering with your Crohn's Chrome, or colitis, uh, pull my hat off to you because uh, sometimes, as you know, if you've ever suffered from it or you do something from it, it's not an easy thing. Okay, so remember, if you can, get yourself outside and uh, whatever suits you, whatever activity, it helps to clean your mind and keep you going. So, good luck to everybody. You're all warriors. Bye.